Hi everyone, my name is Miss Alyssa, and today we're going to be doing a STEM craft DIY bubble wand. Okay, uh, thanks for joining us today, and I hope you guys uh, think a little bit and learn something. So let's go ahead and get started. So everyone should have got their little kit. It should have some uh, pipe cleaners in it. And then I also have some beads here that I'm going to be using later on. And the first step to making our bubble on is we're going to make the shape that we're going to use to blow our bubble solution out of. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and use a piece of paper and kind of draw my shape first. I think today I'm just going to do a heart. So I'm going to draw a heart. Okay? I'm just using a black marker, but you can use a, a pencil. All right. And I think I'm going to use this white pipe cleaner to try to match the shape that's on the paper. Okay. So I'm, I think I'm going to start here. That's going to be like the center of my heart. So I'm going to try to put the center of my pipe cleaner there. And then I want to kind of bend it up to make that kind of V shape. And then I'm going to want to curl my pipe cleaner around like that. So I made one half of my heart. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I kind of want the two ends to meet at the bottom there. And once I have my shape, you can kind of see I made my heart shape. I'm going to twist the ends so that they stay in place. Okay, so there's my heart shape. You can use whatever shape you prefer. Maybe you want to do a circle or maybe a diamond. Um, maybe you can try even doing something more complicated like a star or maybe a flower shape. So now we're going to be making the handle. This is the top of our wand and we got to have something to hold on to. So I'm going to make the handle next. And I'm going to continue twisting these ends so that we have a nice long little rod there. And I'm going to use my other pipe cleaner to make it a little bit longer. So I'm just going to attach just by twisting. So I'm just twisting it around the base there, making sure it's nice and tight. And I'm going to twist this all the way down. There. So you can see I attached and I got a nice long handle now. So you can use scissors to trim this now. I'm going to kind of maybe trim it right there. Okay. And now it's time to bead. All right. So I have a couple of different colors here. I have red and I have purple. If you have a, a third color or a different kind of bead, you can use that. And I'm going to be thinking about the kind of pattern I want. Do I want it to be alternating? So one and one, or maybe I could do two and one or two and two. So think about the pattern you want, or you can just jump in and start beading. So I'm just going to thread the beads through. I think I'm going to do sort of, maybe I'll do a one, two. So I'll do one and then two and then one and then two. And you can do whatever pattern with, other, uh, with any kind of colors you want. All right. I think I'm just going to do a couple more. Your handle doesn't need to be that long. It only needs to be long enough that you can hold it. Okay. So there I have my pattern. One purple, two red, one purple, two red. And this about fits my hand, so that's pretty good. Now I don't want the beads to be sliding off though, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little, a little loop at the end, and then I'm going to kind of twist it, okay? And that's going to prevent the, the beads from coming off. Okay, I could have given myself a little bit more room to do that, but so there's my bubble wand so far. Okay, so the next part that we're going to do is we're going to uh, make our bubble solution. 
Now I already made some ahead of time. It's right here. It's basically one and a half cups of water, a half a quarter cup of dish soap, and a teaspoon of, glyc of vegetable glycerin. Now the bubble soap is or the dish soap. It's what's going to make it nice and uh, kind of it makes it stick together, right? So the bubble doesn't burst immediately, and the glycerin will make it so that it's not too too liquidy, right? So let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to switch to my face cam, and hopefully you guys can see this. Oh, okay. I have my. Oh, kind of hard to see because I have my green screen on, but I did get a bubble there. <laughs> I wonder if I could turn my green screen off real quick. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if I can just, there we go. All right, now you see behind the scenes, huh? Let me see if I could get this. Oh, there it is, okay. So I was able to get a bubble. I'm curious to know if you guys are able to get a bubble yourselves. Let me go ahead and turn my green screen back on. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that simple, easy craft DIY bubble wand and the little DIY bubble solution. And uh, before we leave, I'm just gonna uh, sh uh, explain we have another STEM craft coming up, Popsicle Harmonica, where we're gonna be making little uh, harmonicas or music uh, instruments out of popsicle sticks, rubber bands, and paper. So that should be nice and fun. We're gonna do that in person, so free, feel free to stop in to the library, or you can do it on, street, on, on live stream like you are now. All right, and then I also want to share our survey. So if you enjoyed this craft, please take our survey so we can uh, improve and get better, and we greatly appreciate it. All right, so thanks again for joining us, and I'll see you next time. Bye.